I'm so pleased I took the leap and surprised her in New York and I got down on one knee on top of the rock. It was the best trip ever. I'm also glad in 2014 I extended my radius to 135 miles on Tinder. <laughs> Throughout that process I only got catfished once. It wasn't good. Then I was matched with Emma. After the standard back and forth, how are you, how are you, what have you been up to? She asked me, tell me a little about myself, and I replied, I'm massive about friends and family. If invited, and I don't have plans, I'll always be there. I hate letting people down. I love my niece, she's amazing. I love holidays, two minimum a year. I look after myself, gym, food, etc. I love music, I love to dance. I believe in treating people how I expect to be treated. I hate bad manners. I hate being rude. She was the first person to ask me this question, so I was quite happy to make an answer. I believe this message won her over, or it might have been the massive V-neck t-shirts. <laughs> I get called now the office V-neck boy. Everybody who knows my bride and how happy she is, the joy on her face and the kick in her step. She literally is a ray of sunshine. She brightens my day, especially in the mornings. The office again, know this well. But to be honest, it wasn't until Eddie dropped her and broke her collarbone. <laughs> but I got to spend eight weeks with quality time with her. Quality time that made me see how honest, kind and caring she truly is. A few months later, after the eight months, she made a big commitment and put her house on the market and was looking to leave Stafford. Since then, we have moved to Burntwood, we have made a house into a home, we have had countless holidays around the world. We've had our amazing, perfect daughter, Annabella, and then we've had countless more holidays. And all this wouldn't be possible without the trust she has in me and the trust that I have in her. She backs me in every decision like going on every stag do. <laughs> like every cra crazy idea I have for the house, like letting me buy a motorbike. <laughs> to be honest, I can't thank her enough for the freedom she gives me and the, the trust we have in each other. She has helped me become a better man, a dad, and I thank you for that, and I love you.